Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dipankar and in this video, we will discuss about a brief overview of Salesforce Omni Studio. So technically speaking, Salesforce Omni Studio is nothing but it is a managed package that you can install in Salesforce. If I come to my installed packages, I can see the Omni Studio. But what makes this Omni Studio in highly demand is it has the capability of uh, build your custom user interface using the drag and drop solution and it has a very very rich user experience and the best part is it is built on using the lightning components which again is the latest in the salesforce ecosystem so let's discuss about the salesforce omni studio architecture so salesforce omni studio architecture has three layers so the first part is digital experience layer in this digital experience layer it is used to give a visual experience to the user and there are two components one is flex cards one is omni scripts and the second part is service management layers and to give a visual experience to the user we need the data from the salesforce or outside of salesforce we can get the data using the integration procedures and we can also get the data using the data adapters as well and there is also the third layer is developer experience layer in which there are two parts there is one idx build tool that you can use inside the visual studio code to deploy uh, your changes and the second thing is that there is idx workbench and using the idx workbench you can also deploy and export and import your omni studio data packs so let's first uh, go to this flex cards and omni scripts and here if i come to my screen and if i come here this is an flex card and in this flex card you can see it gives you a visual experience it will show you some uh, output fields and it will show some input fields it has something called also something called data table in which you can edit some data you can also select some data and if you want you can delete some data as well and the second part that it has is the omni script so omni script if i come here this is an omni script and uh, what makes omni script different from flex card is if you come to the flex card this is a static screen and it does not have a guided flow but in the omni script i also have the input fields uh, same as the flex cards and this has a guided flow if i click on next i will be presented with the next screen so that's one of the main, main difference of the omni script let me go to previous screen and i have already completed this mini project and if you are already aware about uh, salesforce omni studio you can check out this playlist in my channel and let's get back to the service management layer the service management layer comes with integration procedures and data adapters they are used to fetch the data and to modify and store the data into salesforce and to send the data outside of salesforce as well so basically either this uh omni script or this flex card they use this service management layers i have a sample sample omni script that we can see here in the screen it has something called integration procedure and uh, this integration procedure is a part of the service management layer it has opened uh, in a new soft tab and you see there are a lot of actions response actions remote actions uh, and we can use the data adapters inside the integration procedure the data adapter will talk about in a bit and uh, using this integration procedure we can create and build our custom logic to get the data modify the data and save the data so uh, there is also something called as data adapter if i click on this icon i'll go to the data adapter screen here and there are actually multiple types of data adapter so let's we'll talk through that in a bit and in maybe in the next videos using this data adapter if you want to get some data from salesforce we can do that this is an extra data adapter so we are going to extract some data but there are data adapter to lo load the data into salesforce and there are also data adapter to transform the data the sales force so this is all about the service management layers ids build tool is basically a plugin in visual studio code that you can use to configure and there is something called idx workbench we will talk about in our next videos when we will be deploying this data packs in the sense this flex cards omni scripts data adapters and integration procedures from one environment to the next environment so that's uh, all about this Omni Studio overview and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions or if you uh, want me to make any video of any of the topic. So see you in the next lecture. So thank you.